welcome to this video. Um, just going to obviously continue to speak truths, um, things which God has shown me, you know, when I was baptized about the Einstein Rosen Gates opening up, which we have in CERN, Switzerland. And um, I was out the other night camping and uh, I heard a very, very uh, strange noise, but I'll get to that a little bit later on. But I think it ties in with chemtrails and uh, just about every science at the moment um, is tying in together science, religion, everything, you know, is, is just going to culminate in this mark when the Antichrist uh, shows up. Um, you know, it's never one for particularly for um, superhero movies, as we see here, but. Uh, you know, a lot of people still enjoy going to the cinema these days, but don't you know that um, if you look at these guys more than God, and that they can become your God, you know, if you don't have a sense of humor about it, um, these guys can literally become, um, mean more to God than you, and in this way, for bringing your children up to watch these movies, which I did when I was a young kid, and I think the movies back then were a lot better than they are now, because there's no, absolutely no moral um, sort of uh, learning from from these movies. It's all just um, extreme violence, and, you know, special effects. That's all movies are these days. There's no nothing else to them really. But um, of course, this uh, one of the most classic cartoons. Um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs when the evil queen says mirror mirror on the wall and we know that those who have been quote unquote affected by the Mandela effect know that the, she said mirror mirror on the wall now she's saying magic mirror on the wall even though there was a recent uh, screenplay about, about this and uh, it was called mirror mirror <laughs> so how confusing is this um some CERN scientists say that it's going to settle down by 2020, but what exactly do they mean by that? Um, they're obviously doing things that um, they're not telling people about, obviously, and literally thousands, if not millions of people have caught on to this. just seems that a few Christians um, just can't see it, you know, but, you know, we, we'll keep speaking the truth, preaching the gospel, you know, saving the lost as we should, but we're in the end times. Um, this is just another sign that we're in the end times and when I wrote the book Starstruck the Lord showed me about the Einstein Rosen Gates and how it ties into the not just astrophysics but um, just many many different types of physics you know that the four laws um, which tie everything together which CERN have been saying they've been trying to find this God particle the Vatican has been backing this up as well they've been financing it a lot, a lot of um these these organizations have been backing it um, you got to ask yourself why is it such a big deal to them and they, they make it out to be a joke um, when, when they're talking about it as we've covered in a few the last few videos um, it's quite amazing what I would just say is uh, um, obviously we try to encourage people to independently um, research things and and try to come to similar conclusions about things but if you can't be convinced about the Mandela effect um, what, what you can definitely see here is that the you know the oceans are changing many of them to blood red this ocean in Russia um, even in Sydney you know does this mean that um, certain oceans could be dying and the sea is turning to algae you know, could it be some uh, chemical plants dumping um, red paint or chemicals into rivers and seas, which would take millions of gallons to actually, probably far more than they produce to actually do that? Um, could it be a prophetic warning? Obviously, uh, we've seen many Muslims kill thousands, if not, well, could be into the millions of Christians. But, uh, we know back in 1971, Muslims killed over 2 million Christians. You know, it, it just goes on. We don't know how many they killed in Egypt a few years ago, but it seemed to run into the thousands. 
and uh, rivers were turning certainly were turning to blood but this could be a prophetic sign you know for the future as we've seen a lot of these oceans uh, seas turning to blood and a lot of it in America but now we've seen one very recently in Russia and uh, right around the world in fact and so this could be a prophetic warning as many people actually see it as it could also be a combination with uh, certain of the oceans dying because um, of Fukushima you know uh, could have killed off most of the North Pacific Ocean but uh, all of that you know is, is very provable and uh, it's good to consider all the signs that God is actually giving us in the end times Jesus Christ said you know when the sky is red and you can discern um, if the next day um, is going to be good weather um, ye hypocrites why can you not discern the sign of the times um, and so it's important even the movies we have today the book of Eli we briefly covered that in another video a few other people have covered that and that video talks about the sky catching fire and also Nostradamus spoke about the same thing um, Flee from Geneva um, talks about fire coming out of the sky um, me personally you know I've seen um, visions not of not of this except the Sodom and Gomorrah um, fire coming out of the sky for the UK if that's one of the only dreams I can remember of seeing fire but what I saw the, the other night when I was out praying I didn't actually see it but I heard it and what it was um, I tie it into chemtrails but what it was was just the sound of a plane in the distance like a distant humming of a plane and um, just as it sort of um, sort of went into the distance I, I actually heard almost heard as if the sky opened up and caught on fire like if, if you could imagine that and it was a, a loud sound of a rip and almost like a almost like an explosion not quite but it, it sounded more like a rip in, in the sky and um, this could be a new phenomenon I, although I didn't see it that's what it sounded like um, I don't believe um, a lot of these um, chemtrail planes are actually planes at the very least they could be bots they could be obviously the chemtrails mixed in um, with the jet fuel which uh, that's been proven as well but it's also been talked about that these could also be UFOs and disguised as planes um, and again one of the reasons I think there's multiple reasons why they're actually pumping chemtrails into the sky um, it's something to do with the atmosphere probably something to do with multi um, dimensional merging um, it's to do with carrying you know Wi-Fi signals it's to do with many many different things but um, you know the the Bible talks about the Sun um, scorching men and so if you can imagine maybe the the, the actual sky at some point um, turning to flames um, this could very well be um, the, the beginning of, of what what that particular um, thing in the book of Revelation speaks about and I, I do again associate it with CERN I think I think CERN have to do with it as well because they say that they're um, powering up the LHC this very week and so uh, you know we, we really don't know what to expect but uh, that was my experience the other night and so I just thought I'd definitely have to share that and just remind you some of the studies are in the Bible about tongues of fire and uh, I do I do believe it is a very important uh, spiritual gift as the Apostle Paul said I speak uh, more than any of you with, with um, tongue, tongues of angels and uh, tongues of men but I'd rather uh, prophecy a, f a, f a few words in the human tongue um, for people to understand and so that's what I'm doing now you see we can speak in tongues and we can get um, revelations from the Lord and it can help to deliver us from demons and different things and give us spiritual knowledge about what's, what's going on gift of tongues is like you're having a conversation with the Lord just you and him um, with your own language and I know there's a lot of false 
gifts of tongues out there, I, I realise that, um, which is very sort of. I mean, you have you have to weigh up is is the gift actually producing fruit? Is it accurate? You know, most of the people I've I've experienced things with, uh, yeah. I mean, I think that they've said that a lot of the things I've said have been true. So why, or at least everything, perhaps it. I've never actually heard anyone say that what I've, what I've said hasn't been true, except the Mandela effect. They want to fight fight against people who are uh, speaking about this Mandela effect and call them liars, call them false prophets. But I could just turn that back right in their face and say, "Well, are are you keeping the Lord's commandments?" As the apostle said, you know. Therefore, if you're not doing that, then you're the liar. If if you're preaching this false gospel. That it's all grace and you don't need to keep the Lord's commandments, you're a liar and the truth isn't in you. Basically, that's what the Word of God says. So I don't really care about what people say about me, rather, I rejoice. And um, when, when we get revelation from the Lord and it's through the Spirit of God and it lines up with His Word and we actually see things firsthand with our own eyes um, to, to confirm these things, then w what else is there? You know, we, we, we don't need the backing of. Um, lukewarm, carnal uh, Christians who, who just can't um, get these get the fact that we're in the last days into their heads. A lot of them have just came to Christ the past few years you know and those who have been in Christ for the past 20, 30, 40 years um, you know I've, I've noticed a, a gradual change in, in things in society and, and now in, in history which uh, is an incredible thing. I don't think any scientific sci-fi writer has really um, many movies have been truly made about this. Nobody's truly seen the, the the full capacity into which the lying signs and wonders and and the days which Antichrist comes to power, which I don't think is that long um, to actually go for that. As we see, you know, Pope Francis having a convention. Um, I believe it ends in about the twenty third. Of September and he is uh, probably going to announce this one world Luciferic religion um, which which probably you know that that will sign the end for the Vatican you know the harlot will be burned and so on and you know Revelation 17 will come to pass hallelujah <laughs>